thank you all so much for, for being here today. Uh, my name is Henry Simons and I'm the Assistant City Manager of Operations for the City of Columbia. We would like to welcome you. And just thank you so much for your presence. Uh, just taking just a moment as we recognize two special people that have sincerely uh, blessed this community for many years. These men who have worked tirelessly on their craft, and today we are pleased to recognize and salute Mr. Jeff Cavallis, and of course, uh, the late, great Mr. Bill Mason, for their passion, for their perseverance, and love for the game of tennis. Your love for the game of tennis has impacted me. And uh, your dedication to the game of tennis has created opportunities for men and women, boys and girls across the city of Columbia as well as the state. Today, we are truly grateful to have Jeff continuing to work with the city of Columbia here at the Columbia Tennis Center. And we also, of course, recognize Mr. Bill Mason for leaving a lasting legacy, a footprint that would never, ever be forgotten. His work will go on for years to come. His presence will be felt. I want to thank our mayor elect, Daniel Reckman, city council members present with us today. Council. And Will Brennan is here with us, who represents District 3. State Representative Seth Rose, who represents District 72. And I'm also hearing that Seth Rose is a excellent tennis player. And I um, want to also share that uh, as well. also want to acknowledge um, Jerry Odom, who's not here, um, and Shirley Mills, who is here. Thank you so much for your presence on today, Shirley as well as Jerry, who I talk with very often, and they're partly responsible for ensuring that the tennis community uh, was present when we recognize others, uh, like Domino Bulware uh, in Greenview, as well as those who are recognizing today. Uh, they're responsible for helping us with having the tennis community to be here. So thank you, Shirley, for your, for your presence on today. I also want to acknowledge our city manager, Teresa Wilson, uh, who's not present for us our staff on the inauguration of our new mayor elect, Mr. Rickerman. I also want to thank, thank the leadership of our operation division, Mr. Randy Davis, who is today our director, Kate Bryant, Doug Elliott, Kerry Rich, Kevin Crawford, Scott Garrett is with us as well. So thank you all so much for your continued leadership as well. Now this time I'd like to turn it over to Councilman Will Brennan. We'll bring some remarks before you also, and that'll be followed by Representative Seth Rose. Councilman Brennan. Good afternoon, everyone. I tell you, um, it's like winter caught up to us today a little bit. Huh? I uh, didn't think we were going to get this one in, but I think Bill's, Bill wanted us to get this match in, so he gave us a little sunshine today. Uh, as you know, Bill, Bill taught tennis. Game since he was 15 years old, USPTA certified tennis instructor, instructed many, many residents of the city of Columbia, Richland County, and the state of South Carolina. He was the king of the clay courts, had uncanny humor that was mixed with wit and charm that impacted many during his time. Bill worked as a professional tennis instructor here in the city of Columbia. 35 years. Of course, Bill Mason passed away Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. His contributions to the tennis community were sorely missed. I think we all know of many, many generations that uh, Bill impacted on the tennis court. Uh, I, I myself, uh, mid late 80s, at uh, tennis camp right over here on the courts. I went the route of more of a social tennis player and not a competitive tennis player, but that's that's not Bill's fault. And it's just wasn't my game. But he made it fun and he's making it and he made it so much fun for so many 
children and adults here in the city. And Jeff, Jeff, absolutely the same, the same commitment for uh, almost 45 years. Um, inducted into the University of South Carolina Smith's Hall of Fame in 2011. Uh, and into the South Carolina Hall of Fame in 2014. Jeff was a four-time MVP as a player with the game clock before taking the job as the women's coach in 1977. In 82, he was a finalist for Coach of the Year. An outstanding, outstanding accomplishment. And as everybody knows, he currently oversees the tennis programs here at CTC and has for many, many years. And he's a pro professional member of the United States Professional Tennis Association and a charter member of the South Carolina Professional Tennis Association. Uh, Bill and Jeff, you are the epitome of wonderful City of Columbia employees. Your passion, your, your, your uh, due diligence, and your care for all the residents that come come and enjoy this this athletic venue, uh, Representative and Rose. We are working hard to get you those upgrades that you need here, Jeff, that you want here, Jeff, that we have to get you, Jeff, to make this a top-notch tennis facility. So with that said, I'd like to, to hand it over to uh, Representative Seth Rose. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Seth Rose, and I serve in the state legislature. I actually represent this area in the South Carolina House of Representatives. And during my public service, I've had the occasion to speak at numerous occasions where people have given extraordinary sacrifices and done amazing things for our city and state. But it's rare for me to be able to speak when we are honoring two people that I've known. I've been doing the math up here, but I've known Jeff and Bill for 22 years. And I remember in the fall of 1999, it's hard to believe, I, I see some of the birth dates from kids in college now and they're born after that. But in the fall of 99, the first place I came on the tennis college. At the time, Jeff was obviously still the head pro here. Bill was working here. But when I first arrived on campus, they were resurfacing the courts at our RC Tennis Center. So we started, the first time I ever hit a tennis ball in Columbia was right here at these courts. And I've got to know Jeff very well. I mean, when you're playing in the Southeastern Conference and going around and battling, Jeff sat on my court many of occasions. And when you battle with somebody, I know Kerry played basketball in Carolina. He can tell you the, the, the profound impact a coach can have on you, but also the camaraderie. And, and when I see Jeff, even if I haven't seen him for a, a year or, or a couple of months, it's just like yesterday. And, um, you know, the, the lives that he's touched coaching the sport of tennis, um, I know that both he and Bill would go around and, and teach many kids. Um, go to some neighborhoods where a lot of kids might have had the opportunity or ever seen a tennis racket and they've taught them tennis. And the thing about this sport is that it really teaches you a lot of life lessons. One of the things I remember I had a childhood coach that told me tennis is boxing at 90 feet. It's one on one. And you learn a lot about somebody and their character on a tennis court because there's no one to pass the ball to, there's nowhere to hide. Bill Mason was a constant here. Um, somebody who would always ask everybody, how, how 
how's your day? What are you up to? How's life? Um, it just doesn't feel the same. And so I want to say thank you to Councilman Brennan, um, City Parks and staff for recognizing these two extraordinary people who have touched so many people's lives, so many kids' lives. And I want to say thank you to each of you for coming out and braving the, the cold weather um, as we honor Jeff and Bill. And um, on, a, on a personal note, I want to say thank you to uh, Bill's family um, you know, for sharing him with us all these decades. I know my life was better for having Bill better. I enjoyed my conversations with him. And obviously with Jeff, um, you know, I, I would like to think I'm the man that I am today because I've gotten to know Jeff and, and the impact that he had on me. Um, I don't mind sharing that I didn't grow up with a, you know, I met my father for the first time when I was 25 years old. I was raised by my grandmother and my mom. My mom was a tennis player. She played high school tennis. Um, and, you know, Jeff is kind of like a father figure to me. And plus, I have to say really nice things about Jeff because he has some college stories I don't want to share about. <laughs> there's, there's no verifiable proof of that, so you can either confirm or deny them. But in all seriousness, um, to Bill and Bill's family and Jeff, thank you for being the people you are and thank you for the impact that you've had on this city and all the kids' lives you've touched through this conference. I'm not going to need this. I'm just going to tell stories about Seth <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you, City of Columbia. Uh, thank you, Henry. A special thanks to Will and to Seth for making this event possible. Thank all of you for being here, uh, especially my daughter Rollins and my wife Betsy. I feel very blessed and very fortunate. Phil, we miss you, and I appreciate the effort you gave to me personally every day and to the tennis. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Jeff. And as Representative Rose was talking about father figure, I lost my father this last last year, October. 2021, and um, it's tough to lose uh, a loved one, but at the same time, uh, what I hear and experience about Bill is that he has left a lasting legacy uh, with the people uh, that he came in contact with through the game that he loved. And oftentimes, we, we wait too late to, to give someone their flowers. Um, Instead of doing it while they're here, we wait. So this is bittersweet. Uh, we still have Jeff with us, and uh, we want to continue to give him his flowers while he is still here, present and engaged and training and impacting people. And at the same time, we have Bill's sister here with us uh, that we can share this moment with. So I want to give it's just a, just a Kathy an opportunity to come to make some remarks. Kathy. Thank you so much. Bill's path here to the Tennis Center was not on a straight and narrow one. He started out at the Budget and Control Board working in data processing. And then after about eight years, he got very ill with food allergies and had to medically retire. Um, then he, when he got strong again, he started thinking about what could he do in life that he would really enjoy and tennis just was at the top of the list. So he started going to little tennis courts in Bishopville and Camden and teaching lessons and uh, just plowing through. I remember one night I was sitting with him and I said, you know, Billy, tennis is a fun hobby, but I don't think you'll never ever make a career out of it. <laughs> Thankfully, I was wrong about that and he should prove me wrong. Um, but as a brother and as a tennis coach, he was the best. I want to thank everybody that's here and everybody that touched his life too, because he didn't ever get married, he didn't have a family, but he felt like he had a family here through the city of Columbia and with Jeff and Ken and the whole group of the community around him. He gave him an acceptance and he gave him a support and he gave him concern and care, and particularly with Jeff, even to the very end. So thank you all so much for honoring him. I'm sure he would be humble and he would, um, as Jeff said, probably go in the background and say, yes. In front of you all, he would be very unassuming. So we thank you again for being here, for doing this. It'll remain.
remain a memory for me forever. Thank you. We have something that we want to present to you on behalf of, on behalf of Bill. Uh, Randy Kenyon, will you all get this for me? Um, we're going to take some pictures as well. This is something that um, we thought about and we wanted to put something in your hands for you to remember um, remember Bill. So we want to present this to you. And this reads in honor of Mr. William Bill Mason for over 35 years of dedicated and com committed service to the Columbia Tennis community. Um, this is for Bill. Uh, this is for his family. This is for the tennis community. Um, thank you so much for sharing Bill with us. And Jeff, you didn't, you didn't say a whole lot, but uh, a lot of times when men don't say a whole lot, they, they, they let their actions and action speak, and you again taught a lot of people. And again, we want to thank you so much for your ongoing service and commitment to uh, the Columbia Tennis Center, the city of Columbia, and the tennis community. So thank you and congratulations. And we hope that you are around for a little while longer, the citizens of the city of Columbia. Thank you so much, Jim. Our, our ceremony for today. Again, thank you, Kathy and Ted, for your presence on today, representing your your brother. Uh, thank you again, Jeff, and your family for, for being with us today. Thank, I want to thank the tennis community. Um, Kathy, um, Shirley, excuse me, do you have anything you would like to share, Shirley? I know I'm putting you on the spot, but you were, you were important to this event, so I want to give you that opportunity. don't have much to say. I'm just so thrilled uh, to be here and know that the city of Columbia recognizes the impact that, that tennis has on our community. And uh, I'm so proud that they've made uh, this commitment to the facilities and also recognize the commitment that we people make. Congratulations, Jeff, and to, to, to Bill. And um, I want to thank my friends for being here. I'm so glad to see Seth Rose because I know uh, he's going to help us secure revenue that we need at the State House to try to improve our facilities in the area. And I know Will is doing all of that. I want to thank Henry. What a great leader he is for parks and, and recreation and all the other things that fall under uh, his purview and to all the staff that are here from the city. Uh, thank you all for your commitment to uh, recreation is so important. Every day I, I become so concerned when I hear the numbers on the pandemic and I, I realize how it's more and more important for us to provide outdoor recreation activities for um, our community. And tennis is just the one that, you know, the entire family, no matter how old, as you can see, I'm old and, and hippie hoppy, but we're, we're playing tennis as, as often as we possibly can. So. Thank you all so much for, for uh, being here and for this opportunity to say hey.